Okay. Uh, good evening, uh, members of Alpha Pi Omega. This is uh, June Baldonado Gamaya from. Uh, we are now here at Sheraton Hotel in New York. Uh, this is uh, we're celebrating our anniversary here, uh, 83rd anniversary. We are fortunate enough here that we have uh, Brad Larry Isaac from Alpha Chapter, Batch 1950, the only surviving batch of the founding batch of Alpha Pi Omega Philippines out of seven. Kabats niya si Brad Bado Oreta and we will be interviewing him as spontaneous kung anong kwento niya na nangyari nung tinayo nila ang Alpha Pi Omega starting sometime in 1949. Brad Larry Isaac. Brad, salamat. Thank you. Uh, first of all, siguro gusto mo magpakilala? Oo. Oh, oh, Eko na. Nasabi mo na. Mm-hmm. Uh, gusto nyo ikwento ano nangyari oh, na? Wala. Actually, the Alpha Chapter, Alpha Pi Omega was established on November 29, 1949 through the efforts of Brother Eric, the co-founder of the Alpha Pi Omega in the Philippines was recognized by the Lafayette College in Eastern Pennsylvania. And with this organization, Alpha Pi Omega spread out in the Philippines consisting of more than 277 chapters. That's up now. chapters. And we are very glad that the Alpha Pi Omega have done the best organization, and I'm very glad that they have had taken closely to the Scout Oath and the Scout Law. <laughs> Uh, siguro Brad, maraming tanong kung paano kayo in-approach ni Brad Bado Oreta. Huh? Paano kayo in-approach ni Brad Bado Oreta? Oh, paano nyo tinayo yun? Ilang kayo? Sino well, sino? Uh, we were only seven when it was organized by Brad Oreta and, uh, as a, and Fred, Nerick. Fred Nerick. Because at that time, Fred Nerick is the scout commissioner in the Philippines. Boy scout of the Philippines. Uh, yeah, and uh, Brad Oreta was able to convince us to, to join. seven of us to organize. We were all excited because the, all the seven are, became officers Officer. in the chapter. Alpha yung FEU, Far Eastern University at, at the time. Alpha Chapter of Far Eastern University. At um, nakwento nyo before na si Brad Bado Oreta is a U.S. Navy, U.S. Army, retired? Yeah, uh, Brad Bado Oreta at the time was make, was taking a master's degree at the Far Eastern University and uh, I was a teenager, and uh, at that time, I always go with him during uh, camping, and uh, I was uh, only a cub scout. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he said, usually, usually the scout commissioner, an American, does not want kids to be in the camp. But what uh, Brad Oreta said that I am an active member in the Cub Scout at the YMCA Manila, and so he we, I just thought just tolerate me going with him. Ah, uh, okay. The Boy Scout at that time is maraming Americano na nagmamanage. Or oh, they, were, they were headed by oh, like, headed by American Boy Scout. Yeah, the, they call, we we are called before America 
Boy Scouts of America. Ah, uh, okay. It's not Boy Scouts Scout of, of the Philippines. Of the Philippines. Okay. Because uh, well, we were under, before the war, yeah. we were under the Americans at the time. Mm -hmm. And the Scout Commissioner at the time was, is an American. Mm -hmm. Fred, brother Fred Nerick later was uh, appointed scout commissioner. Boy, of the boy scout? Yeah, after, after 1946. After 1946? After, after 1946, when the, the Philippines became independent. Oh, okay. He was the first uh, Filipino scout commissioner in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm very close with Brother Ato. With Brother Oreta. Ato, uh, yeah. Brother Oreta. Uh, Brother Oreta. Uh, during that mm -hmm. time. So, was, nung nerecruit kayo ni, or inorganized to ni Brad? Inorganized namin. Uh, uh -huh. Seven of us. Mm -hmm. uh, we were looking for a room, a vacant room at the Paris turn at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, ano kawan yung room? We went for a copy <laughs> in the cafeteria uh -huh. because he has the money yes. at the time as a, on a G GI Bill of Rights. Siya, and, dollar earner siya nun. And he's uh, receiving uh, $150. Receiving. $150 a, a month <laughs> as a, a student and taking master's degree and so he has to pay for our snacks Opia Opia. and Coca-Cola <laughs> and we elected him president How many years ago? 1949? Five And uh, Coca-Cola is 10 cents, I guess 10 centavos uh -huh. And uh, I was the I, I was I was the I became the vice president because wow. I am a student leader at the time. But I'm a teenager also. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, so at the time ang parating gumagaso si Brad Librado Oreta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is the one because he has the money. He has the money. <laughs> Dollar, pa, no? Dollar. Uh -huh. And uh, 150 is a big amount. At the time? At the time. Uh -huh. $150. And, uh, now, when was this organized? Was you were recognized from by U U U.S. Lafayette, Lafayette College, College yeah. as a chapter outside America? Yes. The first chapter? The first chapter mm -hmm. in the in the, uh, the first chapter outside America. So we are uh, a, a, we are a uh, worldwide, worldwide organization. And that the Philippines is the first worldwide chapter. Okay. And then, nung na-organize na to, uh, you have some services na ginawa, right? Yeah. Ang first service na ginawa nyo? In the Philippines, we sa, sa FAU, sa we Puerto. had the, the, the first project okay. of the Alpha Pi Omega is a blood donation which was <coughs> conducted in the lobby of the Paris Stern University. Oh. And Bado, Brad Bado Arata is uh, a very aggressive uh, uh, coordinator. Yeah.